Hello and thank you for tuning into Neptune Knives. So today we're going to look at a, a knife that I picked up for myself and the website. Uh, this is the uh, Terzula uh, collaboration with Strider. There was a there was 25 of these made, and it was available uh, for um, at the 2011 Blay Show. And uh, this is my favorite knife. This is this is this is I'm keeping this one. This one uh, is going in my EDC. Uh, I think uh, Strider is going to put this into production, so uh, there will be a, a production version of this. So I thought do a review on some of the interesting uh, uh, traits, at least of this custom, uh, this one. Um, now, this knife is supposed to. The only thing really custom about it is supposed to be that Mr. Tozula hand ground this blade of his uh, traditional uh, 154 cm steel he likes to use. Um, now there is the little Tozula skull logo engraved. Uh, the blade does have the Trizula logo on it, uh, laser engraved, along with one of 25. They all say one of 25 as in like one of 25 ever made, not number one of 25. Uh, and then, uh, but uh, so the main thing is, uh, this is interesting for Strider because uh, this is more of a, a traditional stick-like uh, shape. You know, Strider's got all those ergonomics and going on, and uh, this is more of a traditional uh, fighting knife shape. And this is definitely a fighting knife. Uh, Mr. Zula is, a, uh, is known for his tactical knives, and this is definitely uh, a tactical knife. And uh, uh, what makes this knife to me so impressive is just that most tactical knives are very uh, uh, thin, you know, light, uh, you know, very you know, pokey, slashy kind of blades. And uh, this one, you know, you're getting that, but uh, you're also getting Strider, you know, pivot, Strider titanium with the hinder stabilizer. I mean, you're getting that aspect of Strider. I mean, I know these screws are you know, Strider screws are really good quality. Um, you know, and you know, you're getting all that <coughs> into a, a fighting knife. So that that's rare to to see. Uh, now, if you compare some of these things, like for example, uh, next to an SMF, an SMF's got that I think five millimeter blade. Uh, the Chizula's uh, only at the four millimeter mark, uh, like a um, uh, like a SMG. Um, here's an SMG over here. Let's see. So uh, this Terzula, you know, it's definitely more of a, a, a cutter. This is a hollow ground, uh, and you can see it's got a very intricate little grind on it. Uh, Mr. Terzula, he, everything's really lined up except for right here. Uh, he did. Uh, he finished off one side uh, with this edge, and then the other side he finished it off with this edge so that's not really an imperfection just you know they're not even at the tip but uh, you know and then um but the main thing when I first saw this knife was interesting to me was that uh, when it locks up the lock bar locks into a uh, an actual groove let's see and uh, it's in here um, rather than just on uh, locking on one surface it locks up on both and rather than just locking how normal striders where it is it's just this corner that touches the blade ting, uh, which you know kind of keeps it from ever sliding out, which is good. Uh, you know, Mr. Tazula, you know, being a custom knife maker, and he does it the you know, the Chris Reeve way. The um, he they have he has a book. I mean, I've had a, a custom knife makers that I wanted to buy a knife from. They re referred um, me to reading uh, Mr. Tazula's book on how to do a frame lock because of his knowledge on it, and expertise. And so this one is unique for fresh dryers because this one actually uh, is flush touches the whole back of the blade tang and then also another part and you can see back here there's the other part that hits that side and that side and that's really interesting because then when the knife uh, is deployed not only is it stopped by the stop pin it's also got that little added stability from that uh, and then you can see some of Mr. Terzula's uh, tactical uh, if you saw the uh, Terzula slip joint that little ramp is on the slip joint one because the idea is if you hold that down and the knife are disengage, your thumb pressure can can keep the knife uh, even especially if you did that and you can see this knife offers many different functional grips you know you can do that you can do this and and that's what the, the main thing about this one is, is unique uh, you know it's it's got a lot of reach and I'll show that in a second now also it's the first strider that I've seen that has a beveling you see it's actually beveling, and actually the whole profile is more of almost like a concealed carry. It's actually a very uh, slim profile compared to um, the uh, SMFs, you know, the the, the full size SMFs, and uh, you know, even uh, SNGs. It's just it's a very uh, it doesn't feel very noticeable. It's definitely a big knife. 
uh, that's for sure. I mean, that's one thing you know I will mention that these SNGs, SNGs are little pocket, you know, cutting tools. You know, they they get the job done. They do. They're like well rounders that do everything, uh, but they're not knife knives like a real fighting knife, a real uh, cutter. Uh, this this is a real knife. This thing is 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 a is a big knife. Um, now, uh, for example, let, let's show some of the, the aspects about that reach. So so. You know, striders are, have always been a unique knives because they do have all these different grip positions. And it's nice because you can grip it uh, from the bottom. Now, personally, I've never uh, tried. To, I've you know, I've tested holding it this way and hitting something. And it definitely, it is a hot spot on your palm. The concealed carries don't do that as much, but this, these brick versions definitely do that. But I mean, it does lock in. Now, holding from the the furthest back spot, you know. Uh, of a of a SMF, I mean, you know, it's it's risky. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, hopefully you have a good grip, uh, but on the Tazula, you're actually holding it, and uh, there also still is a little curve right there to, to sit in your palm. And if you hold it, and you look here, you get an extra almost half inch of reach, and then the blade is a half inch long uh, more of cutting edge. So I mean, overall, you, you know, this is what you're, you're getting, you know. Um, I don't know if you guys ever tried to, I mean, you try to use an SMF uh, for bushcraft, it just doesn't work uh, better than SNG. I mean, half the time you're, you're hitting the, the trees with this area. Uh, this, you're getting a, a more of a cutting edge and more reach. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, uh, I would say, a, a combination design right here. Um, also, the angle is good for uh, cutting tasks like food prep and stuff because the handle does kind of go back and up and allows you to, to use the whole cutting edge. Uh, and if you were to compare it to a uh, uh, military, this is that new one, it's not out yet, but I picked up one, uh, this is that fluted military. You know, the, the military, your hand, they give you that kind of shape to put your hand in. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can, you can do that, you know, hold it back here like a, like a strider, but you, you know, it, it, it definitely forms into your hand, so it's like locked and secure. And then here you go and you do it again with the, uh, the uh, a Chizula, and you look, and you're getting again like, you know, that's almost uh, three quarters of an inch more uh, reach. So I mean, this Chizula, uh, you know, you, you know, you have so many options. You have, you can do the same thing you would do and choke up like you would on a a, a Spider Co. I mean, even get, you know, even it has this little groove right here. It's even actually more uh, comfortable than the military. Um, sort of like an SMF, you know, you can, and you know, get real close and do fine cutting, you know, and use your apple, you know, I was like getting that little top of the apple out, and then, uh, you can also go back here and, and use it, you know, you can hold it like this, you can hold it like this, you can, you can do it like this, you know, you can, you have so many options, it's, it's so, uh, it's so like, a, uh, how you say, it? because it is a, a stick shape, uh, you have, it's a, that fighting shape, you know, like, uh, a lot of the fighting knives are always a traditional stick shape because it is a familiar shape in your hand. Uh, you know, you know. I don't want to say like a, it's. This is like for the dummies, but this for the, but for the inexperienced maybe for the for tactical use. You know, like hinders and stuff. You know, they they make it. Uh, they they make so many choils and grooves that it's it's just done for you. But uh, if you look at Mr. Tazula's knives and other tactical knives, they they don't do that. They have this uh, more of a stick shape. You know that that's more traditional, like an Umnum Zan. Because, uh, you, you know, when you normally, and you do knife fighting, you know, you, you don't have to hold it like always uh, locked in. You can hold it uh, more at this angle uh, for fighting. And you can then do this to, to switch the grips easier because it is a stick. And uh, so ultimately, uh, these knives, uh, this knife is, is awesome. And the second part, I'm going to take apart mine and uh, show you. And it is important to note, when I first got it, Strider always uses this kind of uh, grease that's a... Uh, you know, I don't know, it's always this kind of like black machine grease and uh, it was kind of stiff to open. Uh, now that I have uh, uh, some crispy Flournier grease in it, uh, it it's smooth, uh, easy to open, definitely is much easier. And of course it's centered. Uh, the main thing is I, I opted not to wait for the production version because knowing that Mr. Trezula, uh did this blade himself, you know, after knowing how long he's been making the knives that are tactical and, and dealing with lockups and stuff, I figured that because this is a, a, a unique kind of uh, frame lock design that I would want uh, Mr. Jazula to be the one who lined that up and made that fit. And I think that 
But for me, that added knowledge was worth the, the price. And for whoever is interested in getting one, I would say that that is uh, uh, definitely a uh, consideration. Probably the main thing is that, you know, if this is a hand ground blade by Trizula, you know, you he's the one who designed it, he knows what's going on. Him, Mick Strider, and you can kind of tell Mick's influence because he likes to make all those crazy nightmare, alien, end of the world looking knives. Uh, and this kind of definitely looks very aggressive.